black folks though. If you manipulate your way out of a blessing, being a black woman won't save you. Now, previous video talked about the, the black men who are, not all, but who are responsible for having gotten everybody blown out of the water by assuming that they heard black on men. And a major, a relatively major content creator said to them, well, I know she didn't say that, but I feel. Okay, so that was that video. That's that's one half of the behavior that's going to have us sitting up at 1864 because there are all kind of people making beautiful 20% dividends on us acting a fool and planning to make sure that they have their slaves all set up for the rest of the 20th century. The 21st century, that is. It's the end of the day, and I'm very tired. But this has to be said. I cannot give any kind of detail but let's just say that there's a black woman that I have encountered who's been playing games for two years. And what she don't know is that I can read her her life. By the time she and I actually encounter each other, I'll be able to read her life story for 20. See, y'all know I play fair. When, when Lovely T attacked that child, I, I play fair. I don't care who you are. Certain things are not acceptable. But see, this is the tragedy. This is the tragedy of all the foolishness that we spend time doing. This is the same tragedy of Tasha K lost her appeal with Cardi B. All these time and resources, all this time Lovely T's been attacking this little girl. All this time and energy that we are spending, do you know what we're not doing when we're spending that time and energy? Before you see this video, you're going to see, yesterday I made sure to post in my community tab so that those of you who want to get the Goldman Sachs grant, you have your opportunity because the next deadline to apply is April 21st. Black women making money just crossed a thousand subscribers. Tasha K has close to a million. Kevin Samuels had 1.4 and 70% were black women. Uh, presumably. All this stuff that's been going on with Clubhouse and Pot Roast and Smoke Simber, all of this stuff. Do you know that you are missing opportunities to be able to have the life that you are mad at black men for not being able to give you? But you're spending your time on foolery. And every minute that you spend trying to manipulate, trying to grift, not healing, not growing, not learning, is a minute you will never get back. This individual has had two years of accommodations. And, and, and it puts me in a position I don't want to be in. I'll tell you a little bit about my life. Generally speaking, by the time someone gets me to this point and I have to go deal with them, generally, if, if y'all look at my videos, you see, I actually don't drag that often. This is not something that I enjoy doing. I'm very good at it. But it's not something I enjoy doing. Generally, by the time I have had enough of someone, they don't usually realize it, but it's their last chance. I'm 42 years old. I have been the last good or bad that many people have encountered in this life. I was the last person to speak to my grandmother. I tucked her in. And the Lord told me, this is the honor that I'm going to give you because of the six years off and on that you've put in. I'll allow you to be the last one. That was a good situation. The next situation wasn't so good. An absolute reprobate. And I remember when I left his office for the last time, the Lord said to me going down the hall, you will never see this man in life again. You have done all that I have asked you to do. That's it. His time is up. My father and I tag teamed to try more recently 
The man played and toyed and was dead in six weeks. These things worry me. I've seen it a bunch of times now. Because when people who love you the most, like I said to a, a student of mine once, you know, you've gnawed my hand clean off to the elbow. Not a recent student, but I'm like, you, you've taken my hand. You've not only bitten the hand that feeds you, you've gnawed my hand up to the elbow. Who went to you for bad the most? Now you're going to make me have to keep you from graduating. Now I have to do it. You took the one who loved you the most. I would have been your last court of appeal and you put me in a position where I have to keep you off the stage. Nothing displeases me more as a black woman who cares about the community to have to be the one to go in to shut somebody down. By the way, this is not race specific. I've gotten a lot of people fired. They tried that, well, not a lot, but relative to my age, a whole bunch of people, that la their last time to be doing what they were doing, they came up against me. And that was the end of that. They were gone. But the next time we come, well, so-and-so is no longer to come. See, if I have to mess you up, I'm gonna mess you up. But it brings me no pleasure. It brings me no pleasure to have to deal with the situation I'm going to have to deal with next month. I'm praying that it works out, that somehow that it doesn't have to come to this. And when I look at how we as Black people are treating each other right now, I have a subscriber. Shout out to Train Pack 2, who said, I've seen five things on this channel that Miss Deanne has predicted. So here's the deal. I'm not a prophet. As the Bible, as Amos said, I was not a prophet, nor was I a prophet's son. I'm certainly not a prophet's son. But after a while, certain patterns and behaviors always, because humans are going to be human to the end of time and beyond will manifest in a particular way. Being a black woman does not, being a black woman does not exempt you from that. And what happens is you get beyond the point that you can be protected and you can be helped. I see a lot of black women beginning to do this also. You know, I was on Confidence with Love. It's uh in the description of my video about go watch noir aunties on confidence with love. I don't often talk about some of the encounters I've had with black women that were, let's just say the woman that I am today, I look at their non-example. I had good example from my mom, my grandmothers, my aunties, my physical aunties. And I have really bad examples that I had to deal with. But you know what ended up happening? It doesn't please me to say this. But see, what ends up happening is if you make the one that loves you end your whole career, I'm very good at what I do. I practice in the hardest circumstances ever. I had mentors, people who should have been mentors, who tried to destroy me. They couldn't. This is why it was not difficult for me to become the internet juggernaut in terms of being able to drag people from filth that some of you know me on Themis and Thaw for. That was easy by comparison. That's easy by comparison to some of the things we have to put up in the, uh, we have to put up within the community because nothing compared to having to deal with black women who refused to be accountable and ended up getting into a situation where basically they backed me or someone I was responsible for into a wall. As I told one, but we get along well. She understood the assignment. Look, I'll go to the wall with you. When we get there, ain't nowhere else for us to go.
this individual I got to deal with next month is basically backing me, trying to back me and some people I'm concerned with into a wall. Black people in this country, economically, because we spend so much time doing foolishness and not picking up these opportunities, are about to be back to a wall by an opponent who's much, much stronger than we are. A lot of us are going to be back to that wall. We spend so much time talking about and comparing silly things that take time from us. We could be examining and exploring opportunities. You know, I had to talk to some of our brothers about jumping up in the way of darts that are not aimed at them. That's a waste of time, too. But so is trying to manipulate one another. I have been so heartbroken. To read of black women and content creators that are abusing younger women. And also sometimes even their peers. And sometimes even their elders. And then find out why you probably shouldn't try to do that. But get your keys to your clubhouse snatched. And I just look at the missed opportunities. And I know none of that time is coming back. We're in the middle of this week, but somehow the Federal Reserve managed to steer around it. We're in the middle of very touchy economic time. We've been talking recession, 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 recession. But the economy has not collapsed yet. It may not. Like I said, y'all go over to Black Women Making Money who's got a chart about how economic cycles have worked since the beginning of the 20th century all the way projected to 2035. You're not where you think you are. But for as African-Americans, as Black people in this country, uh, we're always in a more precarious economic position. So even though other groups of people may be able to weather certain things, we don't always get through well. And black women are no exception. Our stats show that. Our stats show where we fare compared to other women in the country. We don't have the safety net to rebound. And instead of being mad at black men for not providing that safety net, that argument is lost at this point. We need to redirect our attention from drama to using the opportunities that are before us. And instead of me being able to come to this woman not far from my age and being able to assist her as I and the people with me would like to do, instead, we're gonna have to call her to the carpet and depending on how humble she is when she arrives, another wasted opportunity. I don't want this for us. Any more than I don't want our brothers to keep jumping into the way of darts. I don't want that either. I try not to come up here and bark at you. Get your life together. Because I know some of you are trying the best you can, man and woman. That doesn't help you necessarily. It's not my job to always be barking. It's not my job to condemn anyone as a Christian. That's just not my job. But it is my job, as we did in the intercessory prayer Bible study, to warn and to exhort and to teach. Every minute that you spend trying to manipulate someone else instead of seizing opportunities, legitimate ones. Every minute that you spend investing in drama is a minute you're spending increasing your chances of being in an 1864 kind of situation. I said at the end of the last video, people know how to make $200,000 a year by baiting black men. 
people know how to make $200,000 a year on breaking black women so that they continue to birth generations of broken black men. Y'all look up the a stock called Core Civic, and y'all look up the dividends. If the last time I looked, they were paying 20% dividends. So if you got $10,000 to put down on that, buy some of those, stock was cheap the last time I looked. I'll never do it. I just cannot. But there are plenty of people that are. There are plenty of people who are making good money on Black people, manipulating one another, trying to hurt one another, trying to destroy one another, trying to manipulate one another out of limited resources. Meanwhile, people are coming around out here and working with unlimited opportunity. Jack GPT is now gone number four. I know Black people who are using this to be able to save time on projects that they are doing. I, on my writing platform, we have an argument going back and forth about whether or not AI will be allowed, but it has already been allowed in for art. And instead of being afraid and resentful, we have time to learn how to use these tools. Trekstar Sam shared with me that people are being paid to test out some of this software to get it optimized. So some people are making bank on this and some people are afraid of it and some people are worried about it and some people are deriding it. What class do you want to be in? And instead of me being able to sit down with this person and talk about the things that would make her life and her business better, we have to talk about potential destruction of all of it for her. And us. I hate this. But like I said, if people insist on it, I can't stop them. I so want us at this time in this season to be moving forward and to be having the conversations about moving forward. I so do not want to be the Grim Reaper. I mean, I'm happy with Mitch McConnell having that title. I don't want to have to be Lady Vader in anybody's life with this big, deep voice. I don't enjoy that. But when people bite your hand, you they bite the hand that feeds them clear up to the elbow. What else is there to do? And being a black woman does not exempt you from the consequences of acting a fool. Please govern yourselves accordingly. Y'all have a good day anyway. Hopefully, if the weather holds and this wind stops trying to d destroy everything moving and even not moving, uh, we'll have some outside content in the next several days. We'll see what happens. But y'all have a good day anyway. I'm not here because I hate anyone. I'm frustrated and I'm sad. And I'm trying to distinguish that from being incandescently angry. Y'all saw that a couple weeks ago. I so want us to do better. I really do. Y'all have a good day now. Thank you for listening. If you stayed this long, and again, as I've said before, as a subscriber, if this is too much for you, if this isn't what you want, fare thee well. I wish you all the best. And if you choose to stay on board, thank you. All right, goodbye.